Extensions are a powerful tool that can enhance your browser experience. So today I'm going to be talking about the best must have extensions for your internet browser. These are the best when it comes to productivity, utilities and getting things done. If you don't know what extensions are or how to use them, stick around for the rest of the video to find out. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Obada and I'm a fourth year medical student studying in London. On this channel, I talk about the best strategies and ways of leading a more productive and efficient life. The main browser that I use for these extensions is Chrome, but a lot of these are available on Safari, Firefox, and many other browsers. So I broke things down into five simple sections. That is the research section, anonymous, money saving, time management and lastly the productivity section first we're going to be talking about the research section two extensions come to mind when talking about research that's mendeley and google scholar so if you're a student or involved in a research project and you go through a lot of scientific articles online i'd highly recommend these two with mendeley it's a simple yet powerful tool you can add papers directly from your browser or import from your desktop you can access your library from literally anywhere also you can generate references citations and bibliographies with literally one click now google scholar is similar it lets you look up scholarly articles as you browse the web you can find full text articles on the web again you can also generate references and different citation styles also you can save you know the articles to your scholarly library so you can read it or cite it later now since both are free and they're used for different case scenarios i'd recommend you download both of them and test them out and see what you think so the next section is the anonymous section so you've probably heard about vpn with all these ads that are running literally 24 7 online so the extension that we're going to be talking about is called dot vpn if you don't know what vpn is it stands for virtual proxy network to keep it simple it masks your ip address which is the address that your internet provider uses to locate you. With VPN, when you open a particular site, it shows a different IP address, which makes it very hard to track you. I'm quite surprised that people pay a monthly fee to use VPN when you could just as easily use it for free. Yeah, it might not be the fastest, and sure, it doesn't have the biggest choice of countries to pick from. But to be honest, for 90% of us who just needed to access a few certain block sites or certain Netflix shows or whatever, this definitely more than does the job. It's as simple as one click and bam, you're in a different country. If you'd rather have premium features and you're basically balling, I'd recommend using ExpressVPN and checking out their pricing plans. Now, another student favorite, or more like broke favorite, is the money saving section. Now, this extension is actually a new one that I came across and it's called Honey. With one click, it literally scours the internet and finds the best promo code for whatever you're buying. And it simply plugs it in and automatically applies it for you. That way, you don't have to go search the internet for discount codes. Now, for the most precious thing on earth, time. Hence, the time management section. The extension of choice, Blippery. It's such a simple and non-intrusive app, you'd literally forget it was even there. Essentially, Essentially, all it does is estimate how long it will take you to read the page that you're currently on by showing you a tiny number in minutes at the top. Now, even though it takes into account literally every word on the page, which you're probably not going to be reading, it's still a very powerful tool that can give you a quick glance if you've got time to read the page that you're on or maybe leave it for another time. Now, finally, we have the productivity section. If you're like me and you get easily distracted when you're trying to do work online or trying to study online, then Adblock and Blocksite are the extensions for you to focus and control your time. Adblock is a simple ad blocker for all the sites that you go on. It gives you the options to block and unblock ads, pause the ad blocker and a few other controls. Pretty simple yet very effective. With Blocksite it's slightly different. It helps you create a temporary custom made list of websites that as soon as you start a timer it blocks those websites so you can access them and you can focus on your work. Now if you want to see more productivity extensions I've made a video about the best productivity apps for the Mac in 2021 and you can check it out either here or here. That's it for today guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video please leave a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. If you've got any suggestions for videos or any ideas, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.